Now, Stockyard, I'd be very hesitant to say that this is actually better than it is in Half-Life here, unlike something like Datacore. Because, again, this is just another map when you take it over from Half-Life to Team Fortress Classic, the grenades and a lot of the classes work really well with the way the map works. But, you know, Stockyard is so good in Half-Life as is. And so well designed that, you know, I don't know if you could ever top it in its natural habitat. But it is a really good romp in this game as well. For doubles especially. This is one of the very few um, Half-Life Deathmatch maps. I could see an engineer actually being able to pull off like, you know, building like a teleporter. Like, you know, one of the areas you can hide. Because usually it does it just like these maps are just so devoid of like real hiding spaces or safe spaces where, you know... Someone else on the other team can't come and attack you. But here, um, you know, that tell there's like should be places you can hide there. Um, the nice thing about this map too here is that the guns work here in this game as well, because considering that they're just a brush like a map entity more than anything else. And they're actually extremely effective even against the heavy weapons guys. So if you and the person you're teaming up with here could really take advantage of like, you know, one person like defends. Well, one uses the gun, because it properly credits the kill to you. It's not like the game doesn't know any better. I'll show that off. Then, you know, you could really rain some, like, destruction on the other teams. Besides that, um, this is actually one of the maps I say isn't too good for the engineer, despite the teleporter thing I just brought up. I just felt remiss if I didn't bring that up, um, because this map is quite, like, cramped. And there's not many, like, ways to defend yourself from grenades too much. But besides that, and, like, you know, you know, some other little quirks that I can't really think of at the moment because I'm an idiot. Um, I think there's a good shot at, for every class here. Um, just because, you know, you got, obviously your offense classes will go good here. But, you know, it's actually, like, you know, got enough long areas for the sniper to, like, you know, be able to snipe from, like, one of these corridors of hell. Even from here... Uh, there's places for the snipe, like the spy to hide, you know, so this is an incredibly well-balanced map in terms of classes, um, and just a really good time. Especially, too, when you're in the, um, like the center area with the quarters here, the grenades are just nuts. Or even up here, and like rocket jumping works good because of the fact that, you know, either if you're outside you can jump to one of the higher ledges immediately, or hell, you can get onto one of the lamps here. It's just, there's so many options, it's great. Come on, you're in the wrong place, my friend. Caleb, you should have been outside. Well, that was an interesting little encounter there. As you can see, things can escalate really fast on this map. Which is not a bad thing. I didn't mean that. Uh, Foxbox uh, has a little bit of a problem activating this one switch here. I'm not sure why. Uh, but yeah, let me show you this shit right here. Well, don't run away when I'm trying to show it off, asshole. There we go. Well, now I can't see, you dick. If I can actually hit anyone. Yeah, look at that. Well, that wasn't the best display, but I'll, I'll try again in a bit. And that's what I mean. Get up there. Quick, nice, and easy way to get up to the gun. I'm not going to use it there, though, because the bots tend not to show up there for some reason. I don't know what happened there, but, you know, it was pretty cool. What the shit? Also, nice thing about the soldier here. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, fuck off. Oh, here we go. D move! I want to show this off. You know, you try to show off a map feature in one of my videos, or in a map video, and you can't because everyone's being a fucking asshole. Oh, that was a double kill with that grenade. Did you see that? It's a pretty wizard, man. Oh, again! That is amazing. Yeah, you tell him, Caleb. Okay, come on. Can I can I wait? Can I show off the destruction of the machine gun? Of course, Scout's gonna come around now. Come on! Fuck this game. We gotta do this collab, come on. I gotta show off the, the frickin' the, the, the machine gun. I don't know why this is so important to me, but I must. 
Come on. Come on. Jesus. How many fucking shots does it take to kill a heavy weapons guy? God damn. Okay, this is my chance. It isn't my chance. Yeah, look at that. Finally. That's what I wanted to show. A heavy weapons guy. And that thing, I, he got cut up even the, like fucking ass juice there. You know, you think that, like, you know, I don't know. It was, it was powerful. I'm just, I'm just surprised that it actually, I killed anyone with it. So, yeah, I'm content. Wow, Sonic really just wiped his, like, asshole all over both of us. Uh, unreal. Well, he killed himself, so that's what's important, I guess. Obviously, this little cubby here is great for chucking down grenades. Eat it! Well, that was a weird thing. Yeah. What's going on? Well, it's probably for the best I end things now. So, yeah, um... Stockyard, though, this is great. This is really, really good in this game. Like I said, I can't quite say it's better than it is in Half-Life proper. But, you know, if you want a good map with, like, you know, a lot of viability for, like, every... Almost every class. And, you know, some good grenade usage and, like, you know, other stuff like that. Definitely play this one.